What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Fruits Basket, this time of Season 2, Episode 6. Really looking forward to today's episode after we got such a fun episode last time uh, in this haunted house. And we also got to see Uo enter a relationship with uh, someone from potentially the Soma family. Uh, still not 100% sure of that, but we know they're definitely involved with the Soma family and Akito uh, especially. Uh, we do see them in the opening scene walking behind Akito as well, so very excited to see uh, what kind of relationship those two have. Um, Akito definitely a person with some very strong holes on the relationships of everyone else in the Zodiac family. So. Uh, um, again, a lot to look forward to uh, coming up in this season, hopefully. Uh, make sure you let me know what you guys think of this episode, though, down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these daily reactions. And let's get right into the episode, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go, guys. That looks like a pretty horrible day for the start of the summer. Sucks. Reminds me of something that had happened in the UK. A little emoji. Hey, let's go. So, are we going on a trip somewhere, maybe? Be nice to get out of the storm. Yeah, I think just like the UK, uh, Japan has some strange weather as well. Maybe even more strange, to be honest. I think probably Japan maybe has the stranger of the weather, but UK probably has a maybe a little bit more one extreme to another. <laughs> Although not as extreme as the Japanese weather, of course. There's some interesting little details in some of these opening scenes, aren't there? Like that crab there. We also saw a watermelon in the water earlier. And a keto being... I'm not sure what those things are called that a keto was sitting on. They almost look a little bit like landmines a little bit though. Obviously they're not. <laughs> but something of that variety. Things that stop people or things getting... Or water barricades... I guess is the word. <laughs> things that stop things. Which makes sense for Akito, doesn't it? And the watermelon's in Harry's hands right there, so... Again, probably need a, a few more looks at this, but... Just some interesting details there. Ah, nice. Wow, are you mad at that? Really should be happy about this, right? I imagine half these people are not going to go. I was going to say, we're definitely going out then. <laughs> I think maybe more than half these people will go, to be fair. I can't imagine Hattori will go, but... Ayane, probably. Yeah, I think everyone else, probably. Of course he doesn't. Even if he did, he wouldn't. How's Toru is getting on? Oh, she forgot about it. <laughs> to be fair, that used to be my excuse <laughs> every every year if we'd have to write a a book or whatever well not a book of course but like six pages on what we've done in the summer I'd just be like I remember the day before I'd be like oh yeah forgot 
I wouldn't even bother. Again, I was a really lazy kid. Still lazy. Do you recognise that, Yuki? Do you recognise that hat yet, bro? <laughs> I was going to say, if he mentions that name, it, it'll probably come. That's good to hear. It's a bit strange after he just punch you. But yeah, it's got a bit nicer. A little bit more understanding and uh, patient, I guess. Patience was not a word you'd associate with Ko earlier. He's going to bring it up. What comes from this if he does remember what I'm interested in? <clears throat> they still not remember. Maybe it wasn't Yuki. Kind of seems like it was very much Yuki who was that little boy though. It's quite funny. He helped her a long time ago. She's helping him now. He's finally remembered. Oh, Kabuto. Yeah, that's quite funny, isn't it, what I mentioned just then. He helped her. Uh, it, it was probably in a quite a bad situation even then, wasn't he? And he helped her out. Come to kind of shape her a little bit as the person she is today, I guess. Obviously, it's very precious to her, so I imagine it did. It'd be interesting to see what conversation and such comes from those two finding out that they're the other person. The hell was written doing here? Got some nice hair, hasn't she? I'm probably sure those take probably five or ten minutes to get off as well. Go right knee. Strange, <laughs> very strange. Not sure what to think about that. <laughs> I mean, she was calling him brother. I guess they're close in some aspect. 
I don't think that was quite what it was looking like it was intended to be. It looked like she was going to kiss him, but I don't think that was the case. Unless she has got some kind of weird fetish for that kind of stuff, but again, she was with Harry not so long ago, so that that. Seems like quite a few people do rely on Shigure as well, as unreliable as a man he is. He must have a very reliable side to him. Must have helped these kids maybe when they were younger or something, maybe. I don't know, we're having fun now. Let's stop thinking about that. <laughs> Oh wow, she is pretty fucking good. And bendy arms. <laughs> really good. I can't swim at all. It's not like, oh I can swim. I just can't float and kind of hold my breath for breathe <laughs> I'd be doing what she was doing under in one go try to get there without breathing in one go and most likely die so <laughs> no that's maybe what I need get taught how to breathe And he doesn't like the water. I can't imagine cats like water. And another another point to prove how far he's come. Oh my god. A horrible thing to say to a kid. How do you even... What? How do you even get those type of things in your head when you're that young to tell to another kid even younger than you? That's what I'm kind of interested in. I mean, we know Akio was kind of a presser. But how did he get to be so, so oppressive at such a young age? That was horrible, though. Yuki looked like an absolute ghost. Or a ghoul, more like. Of course. True. I agree with that. Yeah, he will. He probably will want to actually do it. Yep. It was a really nice, really nice time, except for that horrible little flashback there. Well, of course he was going to lose, wasn't he? I'm kind of, again, surprised he can even swim. Gonna give it back. No. He's a big big factor in who Toro is though, of course. So it's expected. Everyone's a kind of 
version of themselves that their parents created either in birth or throughout living with them picking up their habits respecting them as your heroes wanting to be like them I don't think she was Exactly. Don't comment on it then. Now you've hurt your sister again. Well, actually, I don't mean they're brother and sister, are they? But you guys mentioned that last time. Yep, you're done fucked up again. Yep, so he does understand that a bit. Those hidden feelings. So it's nice that this guy can actually understand this. He makes these mistakes, but he does actually think about them and what he's done, which is good because then he obviously won't hopefully do it again. <laughs> oh, that noise that was such a cute noise like door squeaking it was true it didn't have to be nice Well, that's got Honda thinking now, hasn't it? It's a good question. Is it okay if you have to tell yourself that? Yeah, you already are looking for beetles. I think that's a little more, a little more strange. He even knows. How does he know? <laughs> Is it because she's a little bit nicer than usual? Oh, he understands that she's a bit down. That's some good perception from uh, from Kyo, isn't it? You can really tell he cares a lot about her. If we didn't already know, is she great as Gavin? Nice.
very pale, isn't he? Wow. It's quite quite an ill person, Akito. Illnesses to the strangest things, like summer. <laughs> of course. There he is. Man, you're so bitter. Why are you smiling at that, Shigure? Please don't. Again, what, what the hell is this? I'm gonna have to pause. <laughs> what the hell is this? I mean, twice now we've just seen Rin almost go up to Shigure in a almost romantic like manner. Again, I think that was portrayed in a way that it was it was kind of not going that way. If that makes sense, it, it seemed romantic and such the way Rin came up to Shigure, but I don't actually think that was the case. But what we saw just there was again just a, a romanticized kind of interaction between Akito and Shigure holding hands like that again almost looking like they're about to kiss um, I think Shigure just did hide the fact that Hattori speaking to um, I can't I don't think that was the teacher was it I think that might have been his actual ex-wife just uh, just having a chat with her um, obviously she still doesn't remember but um, yeah, it's just strange Shigure is just still this kind of enigma isn't he is just so much mystery around him and his interactions with people again he seems like this nice guy he's going to be going on the summer break um showing that he can have a break and play with these kids and such but um yeah, there's, there's just seemed to be this whole missing thing about shigure uh which of course we're probably going to know at some point but it really intrigues me it's so it's so strange i had to pause it then just to take in for a moment just akito and shigure I don't know. I don't know. I I, I think kind of I am kind of thinking Shig uh, maybe not Shigure but Akito at least is um gay at this point. He does seem to hate a lot of relationships with boys and girls, doesn't he? Um let's just fucking hope he doesn't join this uh, this summer vacation though, as that would absolutely ruin it. Oh yeah, apologies about that though guys. Just had to just had to take that in for a moment. Uh no. I know. Three, two, one, and let's go again. Apologies about that. Oh, now Yuki's in. Now Yuki's ill as well. Wow. But yeah, it does seem like Akio is allergic to fun as well, doesn't it? <laughs> Having been a bit like me again, being allergic to summer, it seems. I'm I'm allergic to a lot of uh, grass. Um, not too bad with grass, but pollen. I've got hay fever as well. I'm allergic to pollen and I've got hay fever. And in general, summer's sometimes a bit of a nightmare for me, but I'm usually okay. One day, hey? I can't remember what that horrible bastard said. This is his first journey out of the household with the hat. So that was definitely him, wasn't it?
Yeah, I think Kyo definitely. Uh, Kyo, Yuki definitely remembers now, doesn't he? About the hat situation. Toru doesn't yet, though. Yeah, just a very, very strange episode today. <laughs> I think I'll be wrong. It was awesome. A lot of fun moments in there. But it was strange in the fact that it was such a ni nice, upbeat and happy episode. But it had these sprinkles of horribleness and sprinkles of depression and such. Which, again, is a very good, very good depiction of how it goes, isn't it? People do have fun and such, even when they are in a bad state and such. And then they come to remember what they've got to go home to and such and what they've got to deal with and then things do get worse again from there don't they again just another great realistic depiction of how this stuff works but a lot of intriguing scenes isn't there again especially one with Rin Shigure they seem very close Shigure Akito Shigure just in general just seems like two two halves of the same coin, doesn't he? Just one very nice side where he's hiding Hattori in the background, where he's helping these kids out. One side where he's helping Akito out, giving him advice, staying very close to him. Again, really, really not sure what to think about Shigure. And if we didn't already think Akito was an absolute bastard, we see that horrible flashback with Yuki. Let the watermelon splitting contest begin. Maybe that's where that watermelon from the opening comes into play. <laughs> and and Haru. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, awesome episode today. A lot of, a lot of, again, really awesome points brought up. Uh, we've got the, the Prince Charming as well. Um, having his little segment with Toru as well. Uh, making her a little bit sad and her thinking about things. That was um, some really sad parts of this episode, wasn't there? Again, it was kind of two halves of, of some really nice, really joyous, really happy moments and then um, some kind of depressing moments where things get brought up that make people think back to um, some traumatic events in the past and such and that doesn't really ruin the day or anything but just puts it down on them as a whole, uh, makes some of them ill for example. Um, again, can relate to a hell of a, hell of a lot of them, uh, Kia as well, um, in the fact that some is a little bit of a bad time for me with the illnesses and such, uh, most times anyway. But, but I've been better. I've been better at dealing with it um, up until recently. But um, again, a lot, a lot, a lot happened this episode in, uh, in terms of um, things brought up with the hat, for example, and uh, some of the flashbacks. And I think I'm especially looking forward to seeing what Rin is about and seeing uh, why she kind of why why everyone leans on Shigure so much as well. He must have some kind of very comfort inside to him, just like a. Um, just like a what's his name just like a she show for example uh, must have some similar kind of side to him where he, he is this guy that a lot of people can lean on even from akito to yuki um that's two massive that's two massive spectrums of people <laughs> that lean on shigure so um it's just just very interested in that manner um let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section that was a, again a brilliant episode a lot of great moments a lot of a lot of depressing but nice moments in themselves um and uh leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with any of my reactions sorry this outro is a bit all over the place um but yeah really uh, really enjoyed this episode uh, i think t um tomorrow's episode is going to be a fun one as well probably a little bit more of the same with some of these um little moments kind of spread throughout the episode here and there and i think well that they'll probably will kind of accumulate um into maybe some very serious episodes coming up in the future that, that is just a guess i did um that is including the kind of information you guys give me in the comment section saying that uh, from here on things are going to get very serious so uh, very much looking forward for the rest of this week uh, again let me know what you guys thought of this episode though down in the comment section and enjoy the rest of your day guys